okay, we're given these two uh, roots or solutions or zeros and we want to write the polynomial, but the polynomial has to have real coefficients. So when you have a polynomial with real coefficients and one of your solutions or zeros is imaginary or complex, you have to realize that those um, solutions come as conjugate pairs. What I mean by that is like uh, imaginary numbers are in this form, a plus bi, a minus bi will also be zero. So these come together. So if one plus two i is a zero, we're also gonna have one minus two i. So that's part of the trick of this question. The other thing is to realize is that when one plus two i is a zero, x minus one plus two i is a factor. So you always have x minus these zeros as factors. So we have x minus one plus two i, we have x minus one minus two i, and we have x minus three. Okay, so it looks pretty confusing here. How are we gonna multiply this together? Well, I wanna show you a shortcut. And the shortcut is, let's think about distributing this negative in here. So we get x minus one minus two i. Over here we have x minus one plus two i. And here we have x minus three. So what we can do now is I'm gonna group the x minus one Okay, like that together. Okay, so now we're going to multiply these two groups together first. So if we use the FOIL method, we take this term times this term. Well, you just think about the distributive property. This distributed this is going to give us x minus 1 squared because x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now the outside, or if I distribute here, I get x minus 1 times 2i. And if I do the inside, I get x minus 1 times negative 2i. Since 1's positive and 1's negative, those actually cancel. And then the last terms we get negative 2i times positive 2i, which is negative 4i squared. Okay, and that whole thing is multiplied by the x minus 3. So this is a nice technique to make it a little bit simpler. So now let's simplify a little bit further. Remember, i squared equals what? This is definitely something you want to memorize. i squared is equal to negative 1. So we have a negative 1 times a negative 4, which is a positive 4. If we foil out x minus 1 squared, we get x squared minus 2x plus 1. Don't make the confusion of just like trying to distribute that power. You actually have to foil this out. And then the 1 and the 4, that's going to give us x squared minus 2x uh, plus 5. Then all we have to do is multiply by x minus 3. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the x and I'm going to distribute to all three of these and the negative 3 distribute to all three of those and then combine like terms. So x times x squared is x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x, and if we distribute the negative 3, we get negative 3x squared, positive 6x, and negative 15. So now if we add those uh, together, what do we get? We get x cubed minus 5x squared plus 11x minus 15, and that's our original polynomial. If you want to see more about complex numbers, imaginary numbers, follow me over to that playlist right there, and we'll talk more about imaginary numbers.